Hello everyone and welcome back. The video that I'm bringing you guys today is a offline synchronization between a SAF application and a Xamarin Forms application. And this video is dear to my heart because believe me, I did a project a couple years back about offline synchronization and it was such a pain. It was keeping track of last modification date, keeping track of a several client, several slave keeping track of concurrency. It was crazy, crazy difficult. It was a big pain. We did it with Odara and then we have been trying to find a better solution. And I'm really excited to say that this is it. Before we move forward, I want to say that this is the same version that my friend Jose Ojeda, he did in Spanish in his channel. So if you already watched that video, you can feel free to skip this one. We're going to go over exactly the same thing. So here is his GitHub link. And right here we have the nuggets that we're going to be needing to use in the, in the example. And we have right here requirements and we have the step-by-step -step, uh, readme uh, tutorial that you can follow through. Here the main thing that you need to keep in mind is like you need to go to your package manager source and add the new feed for our repository and then you can download or know it if you don't do that you won't be able to run any of our samples so we already have these two nodes compiled from version 19.1.3 and 19.1.6 but if you need any other version your let us know we already have the ci a CD in place so we can quickly re recompile, redeploy and have all the other versions it's just we haven't been needing to do that but again just choose us an email and without further ado let's see the steps the first one is go to the win project the offline data sync demo a SAF project and you will see in the app config there are two connection strings one it will refer to the transaction logs and the other one will be your database uh, actual connection string so if we see here a the connection string of your database b the connection string of your logs so this means that if we go to the projects now and we go to our uh, app config we'll see both uh, connection strings there the one from our database is the one from our logs Things to notice here, the here we're using username and password because sometimes IIS has some issue with the integrated modes on Windows authentication, but that's not related to our XPO sync uh, framework. So one neat thing here is that the first connection string could be access and the second one could be SQL server. And the same thing on the server side, could be, we could have a SAF app working on uh, MySQL and the other one working in Postgres. Actually, here in the mobile part, we have SQL Lite on Xamarin and SQL Server on the SAF part. So let's select the project as the startup project, the, the win ones, as we see here on the instructions, and just run it. So it will create the first transaction log, and then we can start seeing the, the application actually working, the actual synchronization taking place. So Selecting as a startup project and run it. Now let's wait for the application to load and that way we can see the tables on the database on, and how is everything working under the hood. So, loading. Come on. And here we go. We have these four records on the customer table. Douglas Coro, Jose Aguil Colombier, that's me, Jose Manuel Ojeda, that's my friend Jose, and that's it. Now let's go to the uh, database and see the tables that we have and everything that's going on. Okay, so let's refresh. Come on. And we have our transactions log, and we have here our sync log table, transaction log, this sync log is more for debugging purpose, so we can turn it on or off. Right now it's off, so most probably doesn't have anything because it can be a lot of data there when you are debugging. But let's see our transactions log table. Okay, 
So here we have that we have our operation that is an array of byte. We have the identity of the client that is a SAF application. We have the date and over there, there is all the information that we need. That's how we then can synchronize with the other databases. So let's close this and let's go to the next steps. Right here, we are going to have to go to the sync server project and edit the app settings files. We already have that done, but I want to go step by step so you know when you are following it through if you want to play with it. So let's go to the sync server app settings. And here we have both connection strip exactly the same as we have on the SAF application in the app config. Those are for referring. So we know where to store the transaction log, where to look for all the information. So let's go to the next one. Okay, the next one is running the server project and getting the URL. Because for us to be able to access from the emulator on the IIS, we need to use our IP address instead of localhost. So let's go for it. Let's run it. And right here we have a test controller that is for making sure that the server is up and running. And that will actually give us some information when it loads. Let's wait for it. It's coming. Okay, when we see this, we know that the service is working right here. We have a hello XPO, the name of the offline data sync, and the netcore version, and what is the Windows version. So when we have this, we know that the application is running. So now this is the URL that we need to add in our summary project. But before that, we need to find what is our IP address and replace localhost for with the IP address. That way the emulator actually can see what we're hosting the emulator or any other uh, computer on the network. So let's do IP config and let's find the IP address that we need. Here we have 168.1.64. Let's try it out first on the browser to make sure that that's working. Come on. Okay. That's good. Good to go. So I think that that's all we need to go now to our summary project and add that, add that URL with a specific endpoint for our uh, server to be connected to our slave. Let's say like that we have a master and a several slave. One is the SAF application, one is the mobile application. Let's go to our summary app. Right here we have an Android, iOS, EWP. And if we go to our app.saml.css, we can Okay, right there, we have the, the URL that we need. And it's going to be exactly the same. And let's copy it right here so we can actually see that it's the same one. But the only difference is instead of going to the test controller, we're going to invoke the sync controller. And that one will take care of all the magic that we need for the synchronization to take place. Okay, let's delete this and move to the next steps. So right here is just a simple a multiple projects startup. That way we can bring the Windows app and bring the summary app, see them both side by side and make sure that everything is working right. We can add a record in the SAF app, see it in the summary. We can add a record in the summary, see it in the SAF and so on. Okay, let's click OK then. And we have the three projects ready to go. Let's run it and it will show our server, our SAF app and our summary application when the compiling finishes. Let's wait for it. It will take a second because it's loading the three projects. Okay, here we go. 
Okay, now save. Loading, loading. Server is up. And here we have our SAF application. Summarine is still taking a little bit more of time. But here we go. Okay, if we see we have 10 customers that we created with our Summarine app. Customer 6, 7, 8. Okay, let's clean, let's click sync data and see what happens. It takes just a little bit and we see we have 14 records now. If we see there, if we scroll down, we can see the, the right there. My name, Douglas, so all the records that are in the SAF app, we can see it here now. If we go to the SAF app and we refresh, here we go. All the 10 customers that we have from the, from the SAF app and we can see all the transaction history here. Everything that has been pulled or everything that has been pushed, we are showing it here in this list view and right here we have another view so we can see if something has not left the mobile so if there is a transaction that it wouldn't went through we see it there so now let's do a change let's go to a record and change let's add here uh, the second last name let's save and let's sync again and see But actually, before that, let's go to the log list and check that the transaction that we just did is there because it hasn't been synced yet. So if we now we come back to the home tab and we sync, that will be out of that list and it will actually the change. We can go to the app in self refresh right there. Boom. Good to go. So that's it. Really neat. Same thing if we do the change on the SAF app and then we sync it, we'll see the change on the summary application. Let's come back here. Oscar Ojeda Mercar. That's perfect. Good to go. Okay, now let's do another test. Let's put the emulator in a airplane mode so we know that we don't have any internet connection that we are working completely offline and let's add a new customer you see we add a new customer there 15 customers let's put something that we can actually identify so let's put demo youtube actually let's change it let's put anything on the code and let's add demo youtube to the name so anything here let's add uh, delete this and add demo youtube here so we can see it on the name let's save now if we go to the transaction log list we see now we have two now we have the creation and we have the modify the modification so now we can even try to sync but we're offline so nothing is going to happen we're still in airplane mode we are going to try so here if it was like in a, back a background task or something we should have like some type of poly some type of free try you can refresh here nothing is going to happen but pretty much in, in summary what we do is we connect to the connectivity event so if we don't have connection we don't even try to send and as soon as we get connection back again so we push all our uh, changes so if we now the uh, connect to the internet again so we uh, we disable airplane mode wait for it and we sync all should work right away so let's go to SAF and here we go there is the new record demo YouTube well that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you guys so any questions any suggestions please let me know and see you guys in the next next video